Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Once again, we're going to talk about politics in what I titled Political Suspense 2020. Oh boy, so this will be one of those podcasts, lots of F words. So fuck the political system in America, first off. Fuck you very much. This is a crazy time. I don't do many political rants. But I think it was time now that we know who the Democratic nominee and the Republicans and VPs are all solidified. And it's a big fucking joke. The whole thing, all corrupt. Go fuck yourselves. However, as we are in this virus and there are protests and people getting shot and killed, police, there's so many things on the table, all the... Things that are under the table, like all the regime wars and the and all these policies we have that are crippling nations and starving kids, all the shit we let people get away with, that's still going on. And we still kowtow to the fucking Saudis and jerking off in other fucking countries and have this huge bloated fucking military budget. But fine, yeah, America got to police the country. But in our own political landscape, it seems like it's everyday, right? Everyday stuff. Oh, Biden, Democratic nominee. He picks Kamala Harris. The biggest fucking joke ever. First off, Biden's fucking horrible. Forget about his cognitive functions and getting into his ability to fucking speak. However, I try to take a neutral side. Both fucking sides are out of their minds. People complaining about Trump. People complaining about uh, everything he does and they blow it out of proportion. Same thing goes on both sides. But when you look at the record and you look at things, uh, Biden's a fucking corporate shill. He's a warmonger in a sense, and he's just as bad as everybody else, except he'll be a better face. Kamala Harris is a disaster. I've never seen someone politically destroyed as she was by Tulsi Gabbard on the Democratic debates. I think I discussed it maybe in another previous one, but if I didn't, Tulsi Gabbard just had no old bard. She let it loose. She was one of my favorites to be president. I would have voted for her. And she just utterly destroys Kamala Harris. She destroyed a couple of people up there. So the fact that Biden picked her is a joke. She has no worth. But, you know, people will jump on at female. Yay, you know, check the boxes. I, however, don't really give a shit. I think it's stupid. Although, from a left alone stand, stand point of view, I'm okay with seeing the shit on Facebook. I just don't really care. However, I start to care because people, family, friends, people in general, are impacted by this stuff. So I try to take it... Um, more serious than I think I would, oh, it's just concerning me. Because I think another four years of Trump would destroy the Republicans forever. Would further just force change on a level that would never have been seen before since the early days. So I really don't care. He's a buffoon. He's a cr- criminal fucking con artist. His family fucking everywhere. Meanwhile, they scream nepotism or whatever the fuck on other people shilling products his fucking dirtbag fucking attitude about everything just a great reality riverboat captain persona but I find Pence is a religious fucking fanatic Trump is a bullshit artist so he doesn't even know the bible he knows nothing he gives no fucks about religion other than how he could further his goals Pence on the other hand is a fucking maniac he's a religious fucking idiot So, for the general audience who even listens to this shit, I give no fucks about the whole thing. Left alone, I go, I vote for the best choice for me. Might be a green party, whatever. 
uh, independent to it in a sense. But I know when, okay, look, it's time, you know, for Biden or whatever. And I get that. However, the bullying or the fucking manipulation tactics are just fucking garbage. Vote blue no matter who. Fuck you. Oh, if you don't vote for Biden, blah, 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 blah. Fuck off. I mean, I get it. You feel strongly. These things impact you. It means a lot to you. It's, you're so invested in this. I get it. It impacts you more than me. I'm not of this minority or I'm not this. I'm not that. I get it. I try to be rational, think things through. Yes, Trump is the worst disaster. But that fucking mentality doesn't work on me because Clinton was a fucking disaster. Hillary was a fucking should be in jail. I agree. She's a fucking horror show. Obama, great speaker, but he's, he's, he's a fucking pushover, a shill. It's just horrible. Two to seven wars, ran out of bombs. I don't want to hear this bullshit. Everybody says tribalism, you know? Oh, my side, or, or no matter what, and I'm going to manipulate you and kind of make you feel guilty about something. You know what? I don't give a fuck. I'll vote for the best choice for me. Will I tend to cater that or uh, change that based on the loved ones and what's going on? Sure. I mean, I want what's best for the country also, but I'm not going to let certain things impact my decision and everything's a fucking nightmare. This fucking delusion from certain sides like the Republicans and there's a delusion on the fucking left too. Don't get me wrong, but this whole bullshit, you could find a dozen people on the Republican side before Trump was elected, while he was before he started running and while he was running, calling him out for every fucking thing he's ever done. You can even see the memes now. You can watch these videos. They're all over the place. And yet they will still nominate him. They'll still tow the party line. It's sickening, it's disgusting, it's fucking gross. It makes me ashamed almost to be American, although I still think the United States is perhaps the greatest country. There are other great countries, there are other great places, but we're not without faults. And this is a fucking disgusting, corrupt system. So, fuck the political landscape, I can give a fuck. However, I try to want to be, you know, reasonable. and What is best and how am I going to approach it? So I guess that's why I, uh, I go on a rant like this and talk about it politically. I've done it here and there when this shit was going on and you had these fucking impeachment hearings. It just gets it gets ridiculous. Uh, when I try to look at things and examine them, I almost, I'm almost at, at fault. I almost wish I could just be so, yeah, blue no matter who, woohoo. And just let all my integrity just fucking dissolve away. Because I got to do what's right or do the better thing and pick the lesser of two evils. I'm done. I'm just fucking done with it. I can't believe that this bullshit is still going on. We all know Bernie should be fucking running for president. He should have been in 2016. He should have been the president. And this whole cheating, scamming, fucking money system is just garbage. Just, just pretend you can start at the local level. Nonsense is bullshit. No one's ever created a successful uh, third party or split this up. You get enough people with an independent. There's some scheme where, you know, they have to get a certain amount of votes or this or that. And then they're given certain uh, recognition. That should have happened when Ross Perot... And some others along the way in history, but it can't happen, right? No, you need a, another system in there that aligns with people like me, let's say, and they will take a certain percentage of the Republicans, a certain percentage of the Democrats, and force them to come out together on certain things, right? And it's not enough that Trump's a riverboat captain buffoon. He hasn't lived up to any of his shit. So even if this scumbag of a human says oh health care for all free college cutting the military budget pulling out whatever the fuck you want to say that i look forward to with other candidates you can't believe me he's, he's already showed he can't do shit so on that value yeah okay biden kamala harris i'll make some changes 
you'll see some implementation for police reform maybe pay attention to climate change but no one talks about the dirty fucking water in flint for fucking how many years now i mean this is fucking ridiculous from pipelines to oil to the fossil to coal solar enough yes i know it's not global warming anymore it's climate change and half of it's bogus bullshit nonsense i get it but there's nothing wrong with saying look we gotta go green we gotta start doing it now so we can help our future generations fine i'm good with that i'm rational enough to know that some of it a lot of it is fucking bullshit nonsense fear-mongering tactics on both sides however in this political landscape, they don't give a fuck. There's just, it's just bullshit. And I'm supposed to sit here in suspense, like, oh, you know, voter mail. Oh, no, mail. Let's no, let's do this. Let's pull things. Let's get rid of the postal service. I mean, what the fuck is going on here? I love a meme someone posted the other day. And it was, um, I'm going to assume from protesters that left a graffiti and it said something to the effect of um, what we've stolen you could never replace meaning this mindset of oh it's not like this would be the mindset in this police brutality thing you know um, oh it's a shame this person died but the looting and the riot and all the protests they gotta stop where I think the better mindset would be it's a shame about the looting and rioting and protesting, but police brutality, killing people has got to stop. And this whole cognitive fucking distortion, everybody's bias and tribalism is just so profound on Facebook. And I still love Facebook, still love Twitter. Give a fuck how toxic it is. It's, it's life. It's lots of things. And it's also fucking cousins and aunts and uncles with kids and showing the progress and everyday life. But this political shit, it's fun. I see all this nonsense everywhere. Well, because of my Facebook wars of 2017, there's no real lasting effect on my news feed no more. Or my feed, whatever the fuck you call it. Enough people have blocked me and have just unfriended me and whatever that I don't see their shit but they're still the fucking you know Neanderthal Captain Caveman fucking mentality everywhere come up with the stupidest things uh, totally wrong logic and when you use their own logic against them they resort to fucking name calling and just fucking babbling about nothing there's no real worth to their argument it's so it's you see it a lot you see a lot of this I'm proud to not know stuff I'm proud to you know or anti-intellectuals or whatever the fuck you call it I'm an idiot I'm a Brooklyn moron who dropped out got his GED first day of fucking high school I left after the first two days or whatever it was I just applied myself and had to work but I read and like my podcasts have described and some of the more personal ones I just happened to love reading I was a book nerd and I Read a lot about psychology, neurology, and blah, 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 catching up to now. And as I've described before, doing a deep dive, treating political science like a fucking college course, I went deep and learned what I could, and this and that, Noam Chomsky's, and da, da, da. Go back to when I was born, to now, Reagan, all the fucking nonsense. This obvious shit that could be fixed here. So, it's not getting fixed. It's all bullshit. They're going to drive this train right off the tracks they don't care i have no confidence in it especially biden and harris it's such a joke trump pence again no fucking no challenge because they know they're destroyed trump has fucking destroyed republican integrity and as religious fucking nuts as they are or were this has destroyed them you can't have these policies and this air of dignity about family and business and then you just let trump destroy it and shit on it and praise him for it oh jesus and he's the lord whatever keep putting him into these passages whatever the fuck they're doing 
And the Republicans' political obvious lies covering up for him. It's not hard, like I said, to just go look what all these people thought of him and knew from the beginning. But he's done so much damage, they have no choice but to stick by him. The world in America has changed. This day of this capitalist um, rah-rah fucking nation is is going away. It's their last grab for power in this instance. People are becoming more, better or worse, liberal and they're more progressive and we have different views on things. And yet they're still trying to pass fucking stupid laws, abortion, uh, discrimination, just silly. Mexico's going to pay for the wall. Well, you know what? Blah, 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 blah. You can compare everything that Trump did and has said. Yes, his tweets are there. You can just find them. If he says something about someone golfing, he's broken the wreck and he's a worse. If someone has a 50 people died on Obama's watch from a disease, he should be removed. He should step down, but 180,000 died under his watch and he's fine. He's done great. It's just bullshit. And the fact that people just keep turning a blind eye to it is fucking criminal. And yet, I don't know if it's enough to sway me to go out and vote for Biden. I just don't know what else to say. I really got fed up with this. There's a moment in one of my podcasts where I say, and as I'm talking about it, it's like a revelation to me in a way. I don't care. And I would not even bother people who said, I don't vote. I'm not voting. Like it's gotten that bad where I, where up till recently, I would have said, got to vote, vote counts, got to do what you got to do. And maybe I take it, let's say I take it deeper than some people, but not most. So I've described on this on the other podcast. So once in a while, I get the thing in me, I see something, oh, vote locally, you know, that happens more often. And then, oh, you know, mayor, that type of thing. And then, but when the presidential elections come, you bear down and you do a little research and you, you, you do what you got to do to kind of be informed. And let's say most people are even more deeper than that. Like they're really in it. I think that's a bigger danger. You just, I can't, I don't get it sometimes. And you can't just pick out the right or the Republicans either. These Democrat crazies are out there too. They've got their own fucking religious stuff. What is this social constructivism fucking, you know, everything. They just eat their own. It's just a fucking disaster. Majority of people want this. Well, finally, come on, let's stop this shit. Medicare for all. Make it work. We'll fix it as we go along, but you know what has to happen now. This pandemic, whatever you want to call it, has had an impact. And I don't give a fuck how crazy your conspiracies are. You know people are dying from it, whether it's a fucking man-made, leaked out, done on purpose, uh, a demonic plot by fucking Satan and outer in fucking planetary beings. It, it, what is, is. And things have changed. I feel for every fucking business. As we speak, I was called by my boss and told, you might have to close down. That means my only source of income will be gone and I can't file for unemployment. So it's hard times in that sense. And I get it. There are businesses out there from what I did that have to close down. They got no seating. They can't get outdoors. They can't get it together. There's these rules. Okay. I, I will use that and I will weigh that in my factors too, uh, particularly with mayor and uh, you know governor type stuff because that's where these things are coming from. So it trickles down that way too. I can imagine if you're living in Detroit or Flint, Michigan, and you're like, where the fuck's going on with my water? This is fucking ridiculous. I don't care about this. So... Yes, it means something for them, too, but they've been trying for how long? What candidate's going to come out and stick up for it and make it happen? Arrest these fucking people who are criminal. It's all out there. This is not clandestine shit. Maybe at one time it was tried. It was supposed to be. That's what they wanted. 
But all the political stuff around this Flint, Michigan, our water system was exposed. It should be fixed. I don't care how much money you have to throw at it. You want to fucking spend $9 for nails or whatever that bullshit is that we all heard throughout the years. Correct your mistakes. And you wouldn't have all this fucking nonsense. I mean, I don't even know what to say about this police thing because, in my opinion, look, the UFC, mixed martial arts, I was there from the very beginning. And being a fan of martial arts all my life, maybe not a participant, but, you know, when I did, I was interested in certain things. It is a godsend. Now, I might not watch it every month or look forward to all the pay-per-views and every fight, but I can look back and go, look, we know what's bullshit now. We have a better idea than we ever had before. We have people fighting in a cage. We know it works. Make part of it training for police, jujitsu, wrestling, and make them pass exams. It has to be done. Without the confidence of them using their bodies and not being afraid, it's not going to work. I know it'll never go away that someone could have a gun. I get it. And some bad apples are there. Many people have said things. You see memes everywhere right now. The police department is a place you can't have bad apples. Now, some people are putting around memes and the logic doesn't work for me because it's not, it's a false equivocation. But the premise is there. Yeah, it's not going to work. So all this political turmoil, this nonsense, going back from my other political rants I've done, there's no real fix here. There's no help in sight. Bernie could tell us to do whatever he wants to do. I don't care. Even Tulsi and the ones I looked at in a different way, the Yang. It doesn't matter now what they say. It's... I get it. They have to do what they got to do. They got to get themselves in. I get it. They're going to try to play it by the book. But Bernie should have went independent. He was had fucking stadiums. He had a movement going. Forget all the propaganda, shitty fucking media on all sides. Bullshit that goes on day after day. He had a real movement. And that should have been the end of it. And I wasn't, he's not even my favorite. You know, minimum wage, there's so many fucking things that are going on. Places are getting too expensive to live. It's just happening. It's being forced. Uh, California, tents everywhere. I mean, even looking at overseas, uh, a quick dip into political suspense from there with Brexit and uh, Im- immigration problems and refugees, everything that's going on. But the media, the way it is today, it's all fucking garbage and bullshit. I think I've explained you got to have a couple of trusted sources here and there, you know? If it's not your comedy, <clears throat> left leaning, but left destroying uh, Jimmy Dore, Kai Kalinsky, even the Young Turks from time to time, although they've lost a little clout in a sense. I mean, Julian Assange still fucking searching, still trying to get that guy. We've got everything that's going on. Just all the nonsense they've done with uh, whistleblowers. What about Obama? Oh, he put a thing out about how he would protect them. And then after he went after them so much, he took it off his website that it was part of his outlook or something like that. This political mess we're in might be just a needed thing and I hate that it's hurting people and it's a dilemma I'm going through. I could see it is the dilemma people go through when they finally just stop voting or stop caring with nothing they can do. And that whole thing it's it's right there. Now maybe it has to do with what, everything that's going on. So for me it's making it more uh uh COVID, worrying about certain people, just the everyday life that i am always been keeping at bay and keeping myself uh, focused from the shit I've been through. You add something like this, you got all of a sudden money problems and 
life problems and things are happening. Trees are falling on your fucking car. You get it. So this political shit. Even if it was as shitty as it is, could have been definitely gotten a facelift with some young fucking blood. I mean, fucking Trump and Pence, for fuck's sake. And Joe Biden. I just don't see how they get out of this with a win. (laughs) I mean, Hillary was a cunt. No one liked her. I hated her. But yet she's still clouded just because and touted because they hate Trump so much. People hate Trump so much. He triggers everybody so much that they lose their fucking minds in a sense. And I think I've mentioned this before, but it's never gotten better. Really, it's never gotten better. We're fucking people who destroy Trump or other political things that go on. Let's say it's for abortion or gay rights or et cetera. And he will totally overlook that for Biden and Kamala Harris because they are blue. They got to beat Trump. In my opinion, you can't do that. Or you can, but you got to do it like at least weigh this fucking decision. more. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I'm procrastinating. Maybe whatever, but it's just not sitting well with me. Just. Oh, it's now, what is it, fucking 70 days as as of this recording, or whatever the fuck November 3rd is, and we're all in suspense, we've got this uh, heating up, and these fucking Trump rallies look like fucking the worst things I've ever seen in my life, and the Democrats are just like boring, you know, beating around the bush, they're not attacking the right fucking policies and not are bringing to light situations that are going on. They're just going Trump bad. You know, this is bad. We're going to make it better. But it's just bullshit. No substance. What do you call it? Platitudes or whatever you want to call it. Half ass answers about Medicare and this and that and half little tidbits here and there, but nothing that's meat and substance. There's no focus attack that they're going to take down Trump. It's just the same shit that they did before. It seems like the same plan. We know who the populists want. We know what the change we have to enact, but no, we can't We can't change this system. We've got to keep these fucking money uh, givers going in the right direction. And one of the memes I saw lately was like, it's... Uh, two wings it's the same bird you know it is the money it's where the money it is and it's both sides they both work for the they'll get lobbied and it's just a disaster and you've got this bubbling cauldron of police brutality conspiracies galore everywhere if it's not fucking save the children which is fucking nonsense i mean there are really good, cool people. Unknowingly, and some knowingly, spreading QAnon garbage. Conspiracy, like, really bad shit where they don't understand the damage they're doing for the real cause. This is how wrapped up you can get. I got friends that post that these are rational, smart people. I love them, respect them, for the most part. But you say your shit and then you say like your hashtag save the children, whatever. Go do some research. You'll find out that this hashtag causes more problems, causes more trouble. It actually hampers the fucking real people searching for pedophiles and to really bust the real rings that are out there. All these hashtags, all these things you share serves certain people and that's it. You're being played. You're being fucking, you're a puppet. This is what it's all come to. Oh, wound up, and then you put on the table, you got these boundaries they set for you, and you bounce around, you know, and you rah, 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 you know, America, guns this, guns that, oh, you know, 17-year-olds with my AK, I'm going to bring justice, and, you know, I could break these walls and burn down buildings and cause destruction, Uh, you know, I can bring my own violence, you know, I'm not taking anybody's fucking side, I don't hashtag Black Lives Matter, as the organization, I just had a couple of arguments about the logic behind people's responses to it, because 
their logic was just pure bias racism, although it might not be knowingly done. It's just garbage because when you turn the logic around on them, they can't take it. It just burns their brain. So how do we get through this political suspense and waiting for the elections, which I'm sure I'll do a fucking podcast on, whether it's Trump trying to stay longer, Trump wins, Biden wins, whatever the fuck it is, you know, certain things I'm almost sure are not going to happen. Trump is never going to jail. I see this fucking everywhere. How he's he's lucky staying in office because I don't think he's got a worry in the world. It's all fucking bullshit. It'll never play out. It'll always be nonsense for me. No fucking president has ever been fucking put to task. Ellen can fucking jerk off her fucking audience and woo her fucking own tribe. But she could dance with a warmonger and obfuscate the truth about why people were upset. And she fucking basically lies and creates a fucking narrative that just gets her fans over, you know, that blind, the blinders come on. So you're not going to see fucking lawsuits and fucking people going to jail and people exposed and the justice and bar and collusion. All these things are fucking bullshit. If it happens to change, I will do a podcast. I will say, wow, I'm surprised. Call me a fucking political idiot, a fool. Fine. I know I'm not going to see demons rise up and Satan come. I'm the end times and some fucking Jesus character uh, embodied in Trump. Your fucking stupid fairy tales. All that shit. No, we're going to get fucking change in whatever way that comes. I don't know if it'll be productive in the end. So let's look at it as Trump wins. Trump is the president for another four years. He's just as bad as he was for the first four. I don't see this threat of destroying us in a war type thing. I think enough people know he's a buffoon, but I don't know if it'll be tested, let's say, in the next four years. So I'm not worried there. I definitely am worried about him destroying people's rights, civil rights, his bullshit rhetoric, his little fucking dog whistles he does, that whole sleazy fucking act he puts on. And that will impact his policies, just the way he could, you know, line his pockets, give his fucking daughter and his stepson and his sons a fucking crew of imbeciles, fucking money and power, just sickening. But is it a disaster people make it out to be? In my opinion, not as much, but still a disaster. It will destroy Republicans, in my opinion. There's no way you come out of this clean. I do not believe you can come out of this without showing your hand. Everybody showed their hand. Can it really go by for much longer? I don't think so. You got too many fucking wacky millennials out there. Too many young people who are just fucking fed up, just crazy. Keep adding more police brutality. Don't make fucking sweeping changes. You got your fucking gun laws and your oldest fucking nonsense. And yes, media will play both sides up. You'll show this. I'll show that. Who wins? Like, you know, it's just, oh, you're going to show a video of black kids beating up a white kid. I'm going to show white kids beating up a black kid. All right. So, like, what if I show seven of them and you only show four? I win. You want to put a timer on this? Nobody thinks they have a point and a, and a, they add weight to this conversation when they're just parrots. They just... Like, you know, they just keep repeating the shit they hear on these fucking shows. And it's all polarizing, yeah. But I think eventually this this feeling, this change of people, even the ones who say, I don't want to vote, whatever, it's all going to make a difference. It's all going to come to a head. Now, does this mean people are going to take their streets in millions? I could see that. 
a Tokyo or France type thing, you get enough things that come at the same time, which they can't avoid. I can see that. Yes, it'll all be used as a distraction. And I don't know. I could see. I could see people's point of view. Trump wins. This is fucked. It's over. I'm moving. All that shit. You know, fine. I get it. So Biden wins. You're going to get a more political savvy person limited his talk if he can for as long as he's alive if he does have cognitive disorders or you know malfunctions they'll become apparent as the wear and tear of this fucking job gets to everybody it turned obama gray what they're going to do to biden whatever you're going to see a better face on things i think kamala harris will be a disaster but it will be a long-term disaster meaning even if they're in for four years, she'll make some changes on the surface that'll be well-intentioned. They'll have a goal that she knows she has to redeem herself and show communities that she's changed because she has way too much shit and dirt on her. Fine, people could change. But I think it's the lasting damage she'll do with certain policies and, you know, that uh, building of political power. But I could be wrong. I think Joe Biden's a lost cause. Kamala Harris, hey, look, anybody could fucking change my mind. And out of all the candidates, she looks most like my fiance, who passed away. So I have a, a certain fondness for her, the way she talks, looks, acts, that type of thing. So it should be easy for me, right? Hey, you know what? Settle. Ghost go. Biden wins. Things get a better face. But nothing's going to change. Budget will still increase from military. You still fuck over the corporations, everything that goes on. The fact that they don't pay taxes and Amazon displaces workers and fucking minimum wage. People can't survive. Is it a plan? Whatever. But it's still gonna happen if Biden wins. It's still gonna carry over. It's still gonna be a state, you know, part and parcel of what happens in po- politics in America. The U.S. of A. So, what do we do? I just smoke weed and try to be well-informed. So that does mean I dive into stuff that is stupid, shitty, obvious bullshit, and I got to figure out what the fuck is going on. If it's not so-and-so in post, and I check it like three ways from Sunday, and just fucking know that this is bullshit you know i might engage but i'm not here to say hey you got to go out there and vote fucking biden that's for sure i'm not here to pressure anybody to say you know you got to do it for the country whatever if that's people's way of thinking and you, you get upset fine i get it it means that much to you i don't like to see this point and especially where I'm at, there has to be a couple of fundamental changes, and none of these candidates are looking at it or offering it. So I don't see a way out of this. There's way too much dirt on all sides here. Yes, Trump is worse. Yes, he's the worst face on it. I get it. But the system underneath is still fucking rotted, And they will do damage that'll have a nice face. And something about that doesn't sit well with me. You know, how do I weigh the potential of the hope Obama bring when he spoke and the confidence he gave people? I'm not going to doubt that. Uh, Is there value in that? Yeah, sure. Maybe he's sitting behind going, you know, this is all fucked up. Try to get the benefit of that as much as you can. But sitting here now, ranting for fucking you know an hour or 40 minutes just brings a little clarity to understand that i think for most people this is a shitty situation all around fucking i don't care about other countries or people laughing making fun of our politics i don't care it happens everywhere it's this and that it's unmistakable and undeniable america is one of the greatest nations fine I'll repeat that we're not without flaws. One of them is this political system. This fucking nightmare. 
that I almost wish I didn't delve into, but I'd rather be informed than be caught by surprise. And if it's listening hour after hour, there's fucking bullshit on politics and reading garbage. <sighs> well, I hope everybody's doing better at this than me. Maybe you uh, find you have a straight course in the beginning. Do I urge you to rethink it, to take votes away from somebody? No, I mean, I get it. I can see it from all the angles. I just don't know what angle I'm comfortable with. With this suspense leading up to it, it's only bringing me closer to not voting or that urge to not care that much. But most times this happens, I cave in, I go, I vote. I, I do what I got to do. I pull the levers. and That's my personal decision. Uh, in this climate, I guess if I was asked directly, I'd be honest. Or again, maybe I'd judge the situation. But there's so much bullshit going on. A political fucking landscape is a disaster. I don't think it'll get better. But I hope everybody can get through this. Good luck. I hope we get change that we need in some form, some fashion. We'll see what happens. And I'm sure I'll hear from you and I'll speak to you again as soon as this fucking election. Or maybe if something big pops up, I'll do another one in between. But stay safe, stay healthy, be well. Until next time, farewell.